it is, I will fully give you, it is a complete mess because the same challenges that we're dealing in terms of the ethics and dealing with this data we have to deal with on a personal level in all of our classrooms and all of our spaces. You know, it's interesting. I do actually believe that you end up having to maintain a certain kind of public face with certain roles that you have in society, whether you like it or not. And we think about this in communities as well. You may have gone out on a date. If you run into a student uh, you know, at the restaurant you're in, you are going to have to switch into role as teacher right there and right there, whether you like it or not. Right? And you may want to have your table move, but you've got to deal with it. You've got to deal with those balances. We have to be having a conversation with parents about what this means and how to create boundaries. It's the, the limitations aren't going to come structurally, especially when a kid has decided to go after teachers. One of the most painful things in all of this is to watch teacher bullying occur. Right? Kids have always bullied teachers. This is not new. But kids are bullying teachers with the information that they can acquire um, online. And being able to hide from that is going to be very difficult. The question is how to actually keep and maintain face in a public way that you can really account for. With Facebook, I do actually think segmentation is your best bet. Um, I think it's an unfortunate thing, but especially with the, you know, especially when you're dealing with wealthier communities where you've got helicopter parents that are going after you as a teacher, and this is true in the university level as well, you're going to have to actually sort of back it up and make certain it's, it's scraped of those types of things. There's also something to be said about having a public view where everybody thinks that is your public view that allows you a private view. Angelina Jolie actually talks extensively about this. When uh, she was interviewed long ago about how she puts everything out in public, she just laughed and she said, no, 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 no. The more I put out in public, the more I can maintain privacy. And I do it very actively so that I can actually keep things that are my own because I am in the spotlight. As a teacher and in a whole variety of other roles, you are in a spotlight. And you have to deal with that. And you have to live with it. I mean, I have to live with the... The wonderful things I wrote about, it, about Usenet, you know, in, on Usenet years ago. I have to you know, live with all the blog posts I've written since 1997. And part of it is keeping a public face and moving forward and continuing to produce content that I can stand up for and be proud of today and be like, yep, I wrote these things. Some of it I agree with of my past, some of it I don't. Let's move forward.